Okay, so we have our Saturn uh, now in our um, uh, sitting above our our UV mesh, image of our UV mesh, and you can see obviously tra the transparency because you can see behind the Saturn. And what we're going to do is select a spot on our helmet, so it's going to be just above the the ear hole on on each half. So we're going to go to Edit, Free Transform, uh, Shift, Select Shift, and then Scale Down Uniformly to a decent size, uh, not too big, not too small, because you got to remember this this isn't a side view. Um, this actually encompasses a portion of the top of the um, helmet, so the side of the helmet is probably maybe two thirds of the way, two thirds of the of the actual UV mesh. So we got gonna set this down a little bit lower and make it a little bit interesting. We're going to rotate the Saturn at an angle. Okay. Uh, hit apply, and what we're going to do, see how it's on this layer here, I'm going to select all, copy, paste, and I'm just going to set it above each other so we can get it, there you go, okay, and we'll bring it up here, go to edit, transform, flip horizontal, there we go, I'll just take a quick gander to make sure this is lined up, so this is the center line here, center line here, just going to bring it over a little bit more, Yeah, it's pretty close to the same area on each side. As you can tell, the the helmets aren't quite lined up with each other, so one's one's going to be a little bit more off. <clears throat> okay, now under the stripe. Okay, and when we make the stripe here, um, you notice the stripe is kind of curved. We're not going to worry about that too much. Uh, let me see here, set some guides here so I can make a nice straight line. And we're going to do, when we make our stripes, we're going to leave the center transparent because I want to show you something in a, in a second. Um, when you color something like the stripe, it's okay to go outside um, the boundaries of the UV mesh. In fact, you want to because if you go exactly on the UV, uh, boundaries of the UV mesh, when Maya translates uh, the image, um, you might get a white border where the color doesn't exactly line up with the mesh, mesh or if there is a little bit of stretching. By going over the, the, the UV mesh, um, going over its borders, you're making sure that the color completely covers um, the UV mesh. Okay, so we're going to make this a nice rich blue. Uh, maybe a little darker, there we go. Okay, we're going to fill these in. Alright, okay, so there's our stripe, there's our Saturns, and everything that's not colored is transparent. And again, to, to show you this, actually let me take the two layers, merge the, merge the layers, and create a new layer. Okay, put it between the background and layer two. And let's select a different color. We'll go gray. Paint bucket. Okay, and we'll put it between those behind layer two. And you can see the gray behind the uh, the Saturn and the stripes. And we're going to get rid of that layer, layer three. And we also want to get rid of the background layer that has a mesh on it because when we send it into Maya, we don't want to map the image of the UV mesh. It might look cool on some projects, but this is we don't want to do this with that. Um, football helmet. So we'll get rid of that. And so we're all set. When this goes into, uh, gets put into Maya, under the image map um, or shader, um, it will fit exactly on top of the UV mesh unless you've changed it between the time you've made your logo or mascot and the time you go back. So let's see here. And when we save it, we're going to save it as I save it as a PSD file because we want the transparency. And helmet UV1 PSD, and we shall save. Yep. Okay, and we're back in Maya. And what we're going to do here is now we're going to map in our uh, images to our UVs that are laid out. Okay, so what we're going to do, okay, we've got our UV texture and our hypershade is open. Okay, 
So let's, we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the helmet blue, click on that, and where is helmet white? Ah, there it is, because it's gray. That's why I couldn't find it. Helmet white, helmet uh, blue, and we're going to click on the little uh, right-facing triangle on the left-hand side to bring those down in. <coughs> and as you can tell, my uh, spelling is really bad, so um, to we'll switch, uh, fix these names, we hit uh, Control, and at the same time, double left-click, and that'll allow you to edit the name. Helmet. There we go. And you want to hit return <coughs> because if you don't, I'll show you in a second. I mean T. If you don't, you just click outside of it. It won't save what you just changed. So Control Double Left. Me T. Enter. And there we go. We're all set. Now. Uh, one of the things that we want to do is um, using the transparency. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do here is click on the blue. Fix this here. Click on blue helmet. We'll go over to the color. Click on the checkbox next to the color, and opens a create render node and under 2D textures go down you see a PSD file it'll be on your right hand side almost all the way down click on that and it'll create um, a node for you to place your PSD file so the second one that's kind of a coral color PSD file texture one click on that um, over it says image name reload edit view um, click where image name is you want to click on the file opens it up go to the desktop uh, helmet UV1 PSD. Double click on that and it inserts the file. Okay, and as you can see here, um, you've got your nice stripe on your helmet. Okay, now let's do the same thing to helmet white. What we're going to do double click, go to color. Nope, we don't want that. Go to color, click on the checkbox, go down to PSD file, click on that. It's up here, go to PSD, fi PSD file texture 2, click, go over to image name, click on the file. Again, well, actually, you, you really don't have to open the sex second one. Um, select both the, the 2D texture and the PSD file texture, and uh, get rid of it. And we're going to select the first ones, and we're going to place it in the middle. And we're going to middle mouse click uh, on the PSD file texture 2, click and drag over to helmet white. Let go. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on color. <clears throat> and that'll bring that file into um, the helmet white. And there you go. Now the thing is, these two, these lines here tell you what connections are being made to what node. So a PSD file texture 1 to the helmet blue, we've got a transparency and uh, out color. So both the PSD uh, color and the transparency are going into the helmet blue, helmet blue node. The helmet white node only has an out color, so we want to put in a transparency. So we're going to center uh, center click on the PSD uh, file texture one, drag it over to helmet white, and go down and click on transparency. So now we have a transparency map on there. And the reason we want to do this 